Hello, this is the first part of a series I will be doing where I teach how to write the letters in Nagari. Um, today we will be focusing on the first line of the consonants. Um, the order of the script, the uh, Devanagari script, is first are the vowels and then the consonants. So if you would look up a word in a dictionary, in a dictionary the first letter is the O and the last letter is the HA. Uh, this letter is actually a combined um, letter. It doesn't, at least no word starts with this letter. So it doesn't appear in a dictionary at that point. Um, okay, just um, a brief introduction to the structure, um, at least in regards to the consonants, within the confines of this rectangle here. Um, uh, the consonants follow a very particular structure, and that is um, where the sounds and how the sounds are produced. So if you take the first line of all of these, those are Voice, uh, unvoiced, unaspirated consonants. And then in contrast you have the third line. Those are voiced, unaspirated consonants. You take the second and the f first and the second and the third and the fourth are, is the contrast between aspirations. So you have ka, ka, ga, ka. And those are the nasalized consonants. And then you have, if you follow the horizontal lines, the first uh, is, so, and that, that uh, is according to where the sounds are actually produced. So these, those are the guttural sounds, those are produced back in the throat. And then we have the palatal sounds that are produced by pressing, um, the, the, the kind of the body of the tongue against the, uh, roof of your mouth. And then um, th those are the retroflex, and those are the dental sounds. I've already um, uh, made a video about those, the T and the D at least, not the nasal sounds. And those are the labial sounds referring to the, they are not produced with the tongue itself, but uh, with the lips. With it kind of like an explosion by opening the lips, paw, paw. Anyways, okay, so for today we will be writing these. Um, okay, so the first sound is a call. How is it written? It's written like this. Call. Looks like this. You first write the horizontal line, uh, uh, no, the, the vertical line, and then you start towards the left, like this. You go back. And you don't fully close it. And then always the ending with any letter is this. The, the, the top line. So then you have the aspirated ka. Then you start here. Do this little thing. Go back. Go down. Then you do this kind of half circle here. And you close it with this vertical line, and then you close the whole thing on the top. So, and then you have um, the voiced consonants, the ga, and you close it on the top. Uh, you usually close it by really connecting the lines. And then you have the ga, the aspirated. like this, and then you go like this, and you close it on the top. And then you have the nasalized ngo, which is written this way. Okay. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Ka, ka, ga, ga, ga. And yeah, maybe, um, let's see if this works, okay. Oh, it didn't. Ah, anyways, this is good enough. 
Um, so just one uh, thing, if you want to write a whole word, the, the, this closing um, line on the top, you actually do at the very end of finishing a word. So you want to write a word which doesn't really exist, but let's use the, the letters that we have for the moment. Um, call gaw, call gaw, right? That would be call and gaw, the both unaspirated letters. So you write first the call and then the gaw. Call gaw and then you close the word. So one word has one connecting line and then you write a second word, which in this case is uh, uh, gaw call. So you write gaw. And then you write call. Gaw call. Then there you have like two words and which don't exist. And then um, the last thing I'm going to teach you today is, and so in Nepali, we, there is no full stop sign like this. That doesn't exist. Delete it. What you do to full stop in a sentence would be this sign here. Just a vertical line. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for listening.